Alrighty, everybody. Uh, welcome back to this will be episode five of the Gifts of the Nile playthrough. Uh, my name is Hoags, and today we are going to continue our war into uh, Upper Egypt, as well as trying to get out a couple of holy sites and um, hopefully get ourselves closer to uh, winning this scenario by building more temples of Amun. Um, so yeah, I guess let's jump right back into it where we left off. So coming down here, I kind of want to do a little bit of work in terms of my eco. Um, it could definitely be better. Um, we've got a couple of cities down here that we recently founded that haven't really done a whole lot for me yet. Um, honestly, I don't know why I can't get to a uh, trade route to go to Arim yet. I'm sure that's something that I can probably figure out though. Maybe it's because I haven't explored down this way yet. That might be why. Uh, we're going to continue to try and get as much gold as possible so that way we can support a better economy here. Um, and we also want to grow some of these cities as well. So what I might do is I might focus on some high priestesses in Kerma and then kind of take those guys and, you know, put up some more Nubian temples in Kassir Ibram and then over here in my other cities especially down here really want to get that faith generation and growth up so I'm gonna start just churning out some more uh, high priestesses here we've got a holy site coming online here in Apu which will be awesome because then we'll basically be able to we've been stockpiling some faith so we should be able to purchase um, all of our additional temples and, and whatnot. Um, let's see, what do we got in here? Everything in this holy site is pretty much all figured out. So I might build some ancient walls in here, just so that way it kind of serves as a buffer in case I get counterattacked by uh, Egypt. We're doing pretty solid in this war though, I will say. I will have this trader sleep for a little bit because I would like to be able to get a trade route going. I'm not entirely sure why that isn't available yet, but I'm sure it's a easy fix. I'm just not thinking of. Let's see, bring our galley down here, fortify you. I want to capture Abydos I think that's kind of our main priority at this moment. So I'll bring you out here a little bit. You come here and support. Get some shots off. You stand on this holy site district. So one of my takeaways from this war with Egypt is that I want to basically cripple her faith generation. So she has been churning away at these holy site districts, and I've taken two of them that have been like pretty much fully upgraded. So Swinette, this one, they've got a holy. They had had built a holy site district here. It had essentially everything with the exception of a Temple of a Moon. Um, and the same with Ilnua. I don't know how to pronounce that. It's a lost cause. This one also, this one does have a Temple of a Moon. So they had completed that. And basically if they had had these two additional cities, I would be behind by two. Cleopatra would have five out of the seven needed in order to win this. So we're kind of, we're turning along and basically trying to prevent her from just building more cities and then building more temples of the moon. Because we got one here. We have one here. I don't know if we bought one in Kasiribrim. We have bought one here. 
Well, I guess that's what this is. This little temple looking thing. So one, two. We don't have one here though, so why don't we go ahead and purchase one here. So that should give us four. Yep, nice. We got four temples of a moon. We don't have one here, but we do have one here. So yeah, we're, the war is basically now moving into the purpose for being, we don't want Egypt to win this scenario, understandably. So we're just gonna, we're countering her building more temples, which if I will say has been going pretty well so far. I am very concerned that this spearman will die. I don't have a ton of gold to produce new spearmen, which is not great. Uh, hmm, my voice is cracking a little bit. I do have a little bit of a sore throat, I will say. Um, so we don't want to lose our entire military force here. I probably should be a little conservative with my melee units. As well as my great general. So why don't I put you here? You, I want you to... Let's see if we can take out this spearman on our flank. You kind of stay put. You fortify. Can you get... You can. Okay. Hmm. But that puts you at a disadvantage in terms of your... Being on a floodplain style hurts you more than anything. And from a defensive standpoint. So I might have you kind of sit there. I would like to capture Abydos and then I think that would kind of be... I'd maybe capture Abydos and Karga, and then that would kind of be the extent of my war, because I think by that point we would have captured enough cities. But also, I don't want to like push my military to basically extinction. I have a feeling we're going to take some big shots here. Ooh, okay, yep. Yeah. Oops. There's a lot of stuff happening here. Oh, that's why. Are we at war with Arim? City states. We are at war with Arim. No wonder. They are allies with this guy. That's why we can't trade with them. No wonder. Okay, well that's good to know. I was unaware of that. Probably should have been monitoring our, my city-states more. Okay, so they're making a pretty solid counterattack here. I will get rid of this spearman in the water. You will attack. Hmm. So what do I got? I got you down here. I'd really like to not lose any units. Any of these three bowmen, because these bowmen are insane. Okay, so we'll have you go there. You attack him and finish him off. You attack here. Go here and kind of Stay behind those guys. Okay. And I might honestly withdraw a little bit. Because I don't have the melee units to take this city. So for now... For now I will have a U bombard. U bombard. You retreat. You retreat. You 
You bombard here. You step here, so that way you're not in range of that city. Cool, okay. Nice, I think that's a pretty solid little retreat. Let's see, what do we got? Anything we can do on the economic front? Not really. Okay. Rumor has it that Persia has been... Uh, oh, what did I just lose? Oh, a scout, okay. That's okay. If you build more Nubian pyramids, I honestly am just going to queue up a whole bunch of these guys. High priestesses. And then you, I want you to build me. Ah, you take too long to build stuff. That's a problem. As a result, we will build an industrial zone. You build one there. You come up, bombard. Nice, got a promotion. You bombard. We are just doing a slow retreat here from the front. And we're farming XP, which is nice. These archers are going to be insane by the end of this war. You heal. You heal as well. Uh, hmm. Might honestly bring you over here. Just in case they counter. Make a little counter attack on that side. While my other archer is healing up. You build a farm. Yeah, you heal. We will go next turn from here. Hundred culture and a hundred percent culture from holy site buildings and a hundred percent holy site district adjacency bonuses. Okay. Let's see. What kind of governments do I get? Oh yeah, wait, it's all the same, never mind. 195 gold to adjust that. Not the best. I might do. I need better melee units, so I'm gonna do some iron working here. That's probably my best option. Bring you up here, you can help heal that city. Oops, did not mean to do that. You come on up here. You bombard, you bombard there. You bombard there. Great general, stay put. You come back here and heal up within our city-state's borders. Yeah, all three of these guys. Whoops, you have a promotion. I want to promote you. Aerostorm. You stay on alert, and we'll go next turn. Conscription. And maneuver. That's nice. I think we'll do, uh, we'll want to probably do conscription here, I think. Oh, and we got that free settler. That's big. Okay. Which 
change my policies. I need that gold. But I also want this combat strength bonus. Hmm. Okay. Hmm, this is a tough decision to make. I want to do, okay, I want to do this guy first off. I need, I need gold and I need that combat strength bonus. But I also want a bigger military. I might do, okay, I'm going to do conscription for now. I've got a great general. I should be okay. We'll do that. And then actually we'll do frontier fortresses. Because we want uh, to get more gold from trade routes than what we've got currently going on. So one of the actually um, one of the challenges in this game mode, or not challenges, um, achievements that you can get in this game mode is by settling a city on the coast as Nubia, like on the Mediterranean up here. So I think I'm going to try and do that with that settler, because I think that's my last settler that I get. Cleopatra built the Great Library. Okay. City states up north are falling like flies, man. Oh, goodness. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> Got some solid voice cracks going on here. I got some tea going and everything. I was hoping that would help a little bit, but I guess not. Oh well. We'll build a commercial hub. That's on that deer right there. I'll build you here. You have built me a holy site, which means I get to actually purchase a whole bunch of stuff now. Temple of a Moon is 280 and a Shrine is 175. Plus 8 culture. Plus 10 culture. Jeez, that's huge. For now, we'll alert these guys. You, I want to bombard this guy in the water. Do nothing there. We will sit in this uh, city-states territory for a little bit until we can get some new uh, ranged, or excuse me, melee units up here. In my planning for this war, I didn't really put all too much into our need for me for melee units <clears throat> which is not what we wanted so instead of you I'm gonna get rid of all those and I'm gonna start just producing Majay I think Majay Majay I think I don't know how you say it but Oh well. Why can't I put it there? Oh, it's because this city's got that tile, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, can I not swap that tile? Huh. Usually I'd be able to swap this tile right here. But I guess not. Oh well. We'll just build a holy site. Although there's not a ton of production up here, so I might honestly leave that city. Because I will have, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. And I need one of these cities down here, I think, to really actually have some production to be able to build stuff. So I think it's gonna be, it can, I'm gonna let this builder come out and then I'm gonna, actually no, you know what, screw that. I'm gonna 
I'm gonna just build this holy site immediately. Ah, that'd be so nice to have that adjacency, but we need this. We need this holy site out like ASAP, and I'm not making any gold right now. I need to also start building um, a couple of traders so that way I can get more gold from my trade routes. Bring this great general, oops, bring this great general back here so that way you can kind of sit because I've, he's going to attack me right there and hopefully not kill me, but we'll see. Sending an envoy. I want this envoy to come down here to Areem. How did that change? Whoops. Okay, I'm no longer at war with Harim, which means I should be able to send traders that way now. Yes, okay, yep, plus 12 gold, perfect. Yeah, that's where I need to be. That's where I need to be focused in terms of my trade. I'll send you up here, slowly catching up with my army. Ooh, man. What did I just get bombarded by right there? That thing almost completely took me out. I will send my builder this direction across the desert. Is it just this? Oh, no. Whoops. That's a misclick right there. What did you get bombarded by? You are so close to taking a promotion. I do not want you to die. Okay, we're going to sit you right there. You will attack here. You will come up and also bombard here. Oops, this guy's done for right here, this little chariot archer. You're gonna bombard this dude in the river. Nice, and you got a promotion as well, okay. You need to focus on gold. I'm gonna have you build me a trader. Great general's gonna sit for a little bit. No! Areem declared war on me again. Okay. I need more city-state points, but I'm not getting much. Okay, in the meantime, what I will do for this this trader is I will just send you somewhere where you can have trade routes that are secure. You, Mr. Magi, come up here. It's going to be a little bit my production in my northern cities is just not great. Do I build a trader here? I feel like I need I need gold, so. But I also need units. I need units more than I need gold right now. So I'll just have my other building or other cities build some units. If we capture Thebes, I mean, Thebes is a tough city to capture, though. You got a bonus. I'll upgrade you. I'll send you over here. Just so that way you're on our flank. You get 50 health from pillaging a road. I was hoping that would be gold, but I guess not. Once I get my first Magi up here, I'll, probably, I'll move in towards Ab Abydos. This guy's gonna come with... I'm gonna send this archer, I think, up and around. You can buy there. 
Nicely done. Okay, you link up. I want these guys to go this direction. You stay on alert for now. As will you. You fortify. Okay. Let's have... Let's have you go to Niken. Begin that route. My city's got... You can bombard this scout. Okay. Next turn. Oh. Yeah, this guy just took some shots. First we'll get rid of this spearman. Pillage this road. You get 25 health. I will swap these two guys. You fortify you. Attack here. Have you sit still for a moment? You're not really building me anything, so I'll just have you repair whatever that is. Where am I on faith? Okay, I've got some stuff. Cleopatra's still only got three. I'm gonna come down here. Was it this city? No, this city's got a Temple of the Moon. Yeah, we've got a Temple of the Moon here, here, here. Oh, we can buy one in here, I think. 280 and 175. I think this city, I can get one. Yeah, okay. So now I've got five. And really it's kind of just a faith generation game from here. Macedon invades. Foreign invaders arrive from the northeast. The conquests of Alexander III of Macedon are said to stretch to the ends of the earth. Now he seeks to add the Nile people to his empire. These Macedonian invaders will try to conquer cities and establish a kingdom along the Mediterranean coast. Wonderful. Doubles the science output of all your cities. Great lighthouse, some other stuff. I mean, it's not too bad. Doubling the science output. Let's check our government. Okay. I mean, we need, we just, we need the gold. 100% culture is big too, though. Now, I want conscription to stay in. I want my trade routes to still be insane. I think I think I'll sit here for a little bit. But I might do actually I might switch back to charismatic leader. The thing I should have done in the beginning of the game is I should have secured my southern border with that trading city state that's down south. Because that city-state is just causing me all kinds of issues. Because I should be able to set up pretty like straightforward trade routes to him. But it's really getting on my nerves that I can't do that. So yeah. Honestly, I think, I think we're in a good spot here. I think we'll stay with that. Let's see what you can do here. I want you to come across and I want to see... How you attack. You, I want you to bombard this archer. You come here. You do the same. Choose future civic. Oh, you know what we should have done then? Yeah, we don't need this culture anymore. Because we've we've reached the end of the uh, the culture tree, so yeah, we're we're solid there. <clears throat> cool. 
Fortify for now. Send envoys down here to Areem. Nice. Ooh, and we got our new guy up here. Okay. I'm gonna send you sneakily all the way up here and try and found a city on the coast right before this game ends. Well, that really hurt my guy. Yeah, that really didn't do a whole lot. Have you bombard? Just continue to bombard. Actually, no. I'm going to send you back. You bombard this scout. You bombard this guy. You bombard him. Go one. Two. You come up here. Plunder the trade route. You come up here. We're going for it. Great general, you come up here so that we've got everybody within your range. And these guys, I think I'm going to have come over here as kind of a diversion. That way Thebes can't really help out. Ooh. Ooh, I just got rocked right there. Oops, and I fidgeted with my mic a little bit. That's my bad. Dang. Okay, they came in full force. Okay. I need to get my archers out of here. Because at the end of the day, these guys are my best units. Um, hmm. I don't want to lose them. Lose all of them. I already lost a couple. You come back here. You fall back. Can you even make it? No, I think you're kind of a goner. Have you defend? But I think it's going to be a, a tough slog for you. Close of you. You were very close to a promotion, but I don't want to lose you. You come back and heal. You stay. You fortify. Jeez, these guys are coming after my capital right now. bring this guy back now. That's good. So let's do this. You run all the way back. You I want to attack this spearman. You fortify. Hmm, okay. So let's have you two attack here. You come back here and bombard this guy. 
you fall all the way back and fortify and then you come here and I'm gonna use you as a screen send you to karma have these units go up north as quickly as possible. Um, hmm. Keep building traders in this city. We finished our whatever it's called in here, which is good. Continue building our builder. Cleopatra built a fourth Temple of the Moon, so that means we need to build another one, which I think we can do, or we're pretty close to being able to do here in Apu, in Apu. Two more, three turns and we'll be able to, to build another one. So that's not that bad. You build a battering ram. I need a battering ram like ASAP. I don't know what these archers are doing down here. Getting that route. I'm gonna have this guy deal with this barbarian encampment right here. Okay, the full force of Egypt is coming down here on this eastern coast of the Nile. You go here. You go here. I'm just gonna have you slowly retreat. You come over here. You attack there. You fortify. You come over here. You also come over here. Here, an arrow storm, wonderful. What can we build here? Here we can build some more archers. Go next turn, see what they do here. Send another guy up north. Jeez, these guys are not the strongest, are they? You bombard, hopefully get a promotion. Nice. Bombard here. You bombard here. You come up a little bit. Here. Have you attack. I probably should not have moved him up there, actually. Hopefully he doesn't die. You fortify. Wonderful. You, I want to attack that spearman. A mistake by him, leaving that guy out there. Right, you do nothing. Oh shoot! Run away! Yeah, I had a feeling that 
guy was gonna die. My southern coast is not looking, or my the south is not looking great for me right now. You circle all the way around. Bombard that guy. I need like swordsmen. Swordsmen would be big. But in the meantime, you take the expert marksman promotion. You have a mark there. You have two attacks now, so I'm gonna send you over here. Oh, nice. Go one there. One there. One here. You sit there. Go next turn. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna bring this guy over here. are just, we're gonna shred these guys. We're also getting a lot of science from killing these guys, which is nice. You sit there. We'll kind of just chillax for a little bit with those guys. Alrighty. Um... Well, I think I'm very happy that I did not put, um, I think down here I'm just going to do a, an archer. I'm very happy that I did not put my holy site on this side of the river over here. So that's not looking all too hot for me. Still have five. I can buy one in here, I think. Yeah, Temple of the Moon in that city. So now we are at six. And I think that will be where we actually leave it off for this episode. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this content and uh, if you want to see more content like it, please be sure to leave a like. Um, and you know, if you want to reach out to me directly or anything like that, you can always comment. Um, I'm trying my best to respond to all of those comments. Um, so that's probably the best place, you know, to, to have your feedback um, read, I guess. Um, but yeah, I guess thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry for my scratchy voice today. Hopefully that'll be fixed here soon. I'm going to take a whole bunch of Mucinex and all that stuff to, to try and sort that out. But yeah, so thank you guys for watching, and I will hope to see you in the next one.